So if I were to have given you H2SO4, who is that, by the way? Good, sulfuric acid, okay, strong or weak? Strong, good, okay. Um, if I were to give you this information and ask you for its conjugate, okay, um, you would be giving me its conjugate base, okay? You're giving me its conjugate base. Well, what do we know according to bronzo lowry definition? What do acids do? They donate, good. So we know that acids are going to donate, bases are going to accept, right? Now, this little list, it kind of is confusing because what I'm asking you for is its pair. So I'm asking you across the arrow what now exists. So you can kind of see in the little equation next to this that you have this combination. This was the acid, this was its conjugate base. Okay, so we're not talking about on the left-hand side of the arrow, these are my reactants, acid, base, they mix together, and then boom. We're talking about across the arrow. We're, at, we're seeing the before picture and the after picture, okay? So another way that this top equation could have been written, I'm just go ahead and write it this way, is H2SO4, put it in some water, you can give that little back and forth arrow there, Okay, we said that it donated, so give yourself an arrow showing that. And now we're left with its conjugate base, right? So the HSO4, what do you notice this HSO4 also has on it, by the way? Yeah, it has a charge now because it gave away something positive, so it became more, what, negative, good, all right? So this is its conjugate base. And then what happened to the H2O? What did it turn into? Hydronium, yep, H3O. Okay, so that is really what's being shown here. And so then what you can see is that this is the acid, this is its conjugate. What is water acting as? Oops, I should do that in a different color. Water is acting as a what? If this is an acid, what does this one have to be? That has to be a base, okay? And then H3O would be the conjugate acid, okay? Conjugate base, conjugate acid. So at least label one so that you have one example that you come back to and study, okay? We're going to do it with two other ones, and then we're going to skip the equation for the rest of the page, all right? Because I need you guys to be able to, I give you something and tell you that it's a bronze lowry acid, what is its conjugate base? Something is a bronsted Lowry base, what is its conjugate acid? And you need to be able to do that. So let's look down at a base example. Okay? Let's look at number three. All right, so the base that I'm giving you is F minus. Okay, it's a fluorine ion. So we're gonna kind of do it the same way over here. We're gonna say F minus. We're gonna add it to some water. And that just helps you see that an H isn't just appearing out of nowhere, okay? All right, what would the product be? If it's acting as a base, what does that mean the hydrogen is doing? Is it coming towards the F or going away from the F that doesn't have an H to do with? It's going towards it, right? So we have this little water is gonna be donating an H. So what would that product now be? Right? So hydrofluoric acid plus is left over now for water. OH hydroxide with a little minus. Okay, so now let's match them up. Fluorine acted as the what? What did the problem tell you it acted as? The base. So we're going to put a B right here. Who is its opposite? Who is it connected to? Good, so this is its, what, conjugate, no, conjugate acid, good. What did water act as? Acid, and it's connected to the hydroxide, which would be its conjugate base. 